Hey there, we just updated Jumpstart Pro to use Hotwire JS as an upgrade from Turbolinks and our Turbolinks render setup previously. Now, with Turbolinks and Turbolinks render, basically we had it set up so that all of your links would navigate with Ajax requests using Turbolinks, forms would be submitted as remote as true, and would use Turbolinks render to take the HTML response for errors and update the page with a Turbolinks um, snapshot. Now that we have Hotwire and Turbo.js as part of that, this actually does all of those things for us in one package, plus a bunch of other stuff like frames and streams. So we upgraded to using Hotwire and Turbo.js so that you could use all of those things out of the box and that's the new Rails way of doing these updates. In order to merge these updates in, you're gonna go to your Git repo and run git fetch and the name of your remote for the jumpstart repository. Mine's called jumpstart. And then we can just get pull jumpstart master to merge those in. Now I've already got those here merged in on my master branch and we are good to go. So let me talk about some of the changes that you will need to make to your code in your jumpstart app. So the first things first is that any JavaScript that you've written, you will want to update to use the turbo um, load event instead of turbo links load. Any of your turbo links events will need to just get converted, just delete the word links out of there and you'll be good to go. Um, that is the smallest change you'll need to make. Then the other changes you'll need to make is, for example, in any of your controllers, when you render a response for a form that has errors, typically you just render and we need to go and add the status unprocessable entity in order to make those forms tell the JavaScript to go and update the page with the HTML. So Turbo.js will handle 400 and 500 error uh, messages and it will update the uh, page accordingly. So you'll go and add this line or this option to each of your renders in your update and create actions throughout your app. And we've already updated the scaffolds in Jumpstart. So if you want to create a scaffold with a post of title, for example, we can go um, into our post controller that we just created and you will see that we have the unprocessable entity for the create and update already ready to go in there. So that is one of the changes you'll do in your controllers. It's basically the only thing in your controllers that you'll need to do unless you'd like to upgrade and also use frames. But I would recommend making this change first before you get into adding frames. It's just an easier way to upgrade. And the other major thing you want to do is remove any remote as trues throughout your application. If you have it on forms, you can uh, remove those. It used to be that we would submit everything with remote as true so that Turbolinks render could handle the response for us. Us. But now we're going to do the regular form submissions and the link clicks and that is going to be handled by Turbo.js. Now the other recommendation they want you to do is to remove your link to's with different methods um, using UJS and they actually want you to use a button to, but a button to cannot live in another form. And so this example here where we had that living in a separate form, we would change to button to delete and we can make the delete request um, through this form that it would generate with a button inside of it. So it's kind of an invisible tiny form that this button to tag will generate. So that's the ideal way to upgrade all of your views in order to use things that are semantically correct for using um, Turbo.js. So that's really all you need to know to upgrade your Jumpstart Pro app from our Turbolinks version to Hotwire and you are good to go. So Turbo Drive is mostly what we've learned in this video where we have upgraded our app from Turbolinks to Turbo Drive. And you can read up on that on their documentation, but you can also go and enhance your app with Turbo Frames, Turbo Streams for broadcasting updates. And in the very near future, we're gonna have an official iOS and Android template that comes with Jumpstart Pro so that you can have mobile apps that wrap your Iowa or your your web app which is going to be super cool so i will be working on that in the near future and some other updates and that is all you need to know to upgrade your app from our old version to hotwire so i hope it goes well if you have any questions or comments you can add them on the forum or the gitlab uh, repository issues or email me chris at gorails.com and I will be happy to help you upgrade. So that is it, um, good luck, and I hope you enjoy it.